Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant. Here we have a 2005 Mercedes-Benz CLS 500. It's obsidian black in colour with black leather interior and it's a very good car. Travelled just 78,000 kilometres. It's got Pirelli tyres all round and it's got some very nice Mercedes-Benz alloy wheels on it which I believe are from a uh, CL500 which suit the car very well. It's got a wood grain steering wheel, keyless entry, push button start, it does have adjustable suspension and this car has had extensive work done to the gearbox and the suspension which is great. The 5 litre V8 is silky smooth, the car trip compute hasn't been reset for a long time and it's saying it's averaging 13 litres per 100 kilometres which is very good. The alloy wheels are in excellent condition and literally every panel on this car is also in very good condition. The CLS is a four seater, it's got air conditioning controls in the back. It's got a very good service history to it. I think these are very, very good value, especially when you consider what they cost new. It's got the nice twin tailpipes, parking sensors obviously, all the manuals and books are here. It's got two remote keys. It's even got a Mercedes-Benz battery, a big spare, a full-size spare wheel. The 500s, as I was saying, by the fuel consumption, are actually quite economical and they're very, very reliable. This 5 litre V8 has been built by Mercedes for years. And this was actually the very last of the 5 litre V8 before they changed it to the 5.5 litre. It's got the 7 speed gearbox, which is a very good combination. Having a 5 litre V8 with the 7 speed gearbox works perfectly. I have driven the car, it drives beautifully as you would expect, it's silky smooth and if you're a fussy buyer I think this is a car you should definitely come and have a look at. It has been garaged, the headlights are nice and clear, if you're looking at other ones, especially because they start to come up the top of the car here, they do start to oxidise. It's got xenon lights obviously, parking sensors front and back. When you look down the side, it's very, very straight. It's like a mirror. It's got tinted windows, which is probably part of the reason why the interior is in such good condition. And as I said, if you are looking for a CLS, even if you've been looking at 350s, you're not spending much more at all to go into a 500. I personally would be spending the extra and going into a 5 litre V8. The fuel consumption is surprisingly very similar and you get the theatre of the V8 and all the performance and the resale down the track. So thank you so much for watching this video on this beautiful CLS 500 and we welcome the opportunity to take it for a test drive in this beautiful car. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to hearing